pray with these scriptures for supernatural exemption before the end of this year, before December. Stand on the word of God to pray. Whether it's five minutes, ten minutes, one hour, stand on the word. Job 5.12 says, God frustrates the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform or cannot carry out their plans. So God will frustrate the devices of the enemy. Luke 6, 12. It came to pass in those days that Jesus went out into a mountain to pray and he continued all night in prayer to God. So you pray and say, God, give me the spirit of prayer to be able to have a time to spend in your presence. The Bible says in Hosea 9, 14, that give them, O Lord, what would you give? Give them a miscarrying womb and dry breast. We pray that may the Lord destroy every plot of the enemy. Jeremiah 23, 29. Is it not my word like fire, declares the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks rocks or enemies in pieces? 1 Samuel 1, 27. Hannah said, Lord, I prayed for this child, and the Lord, you have granted me what I ask of you. You have granted me what I ask of you. Isaiah 40, 29. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Are you weary? Are you weak? Ask God. First Peter 5, 8. It says, be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. So you have to be watchful and prayerful. James 4, 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Resist the enemy, he will flee. Ephesians 6, 12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Genesis eleven nine. That is why the place was called Babel, because the Lord confused the language of the whole world. From there, the Lord scattered them over the face of the whole world. Tell God to scatter every device or the plots of the enemy against you. Deuteronomy 28, 7. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated. Before you, they shall come out against you in one way. They will flee in seven ways. Ephesians 6, 13. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand firm, to stand firm. Luke 10, 19. Behold, I have given you authority to thread upon, to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. First Peter 5, 8. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a rolling lion Seeking someone to devour. I've quoted it twice. It's a very important scripture. You have to be careful. You have to be mindful. So use these scriptures to pray. Trust me. And by the time you stand on these words or these scriptures to pray, you will be exempted from any attack or from any temptation or from any power of darkness. God bless you.